this is that you're syncing these up and it's not just for show, but they're actually um, able to sell these tickets on these sites. So that is an awesome, awesome way to uh, be able to get people where they're at. Hey, this is Leonard with Indie Band Coach, and today I wanna to share with you five sites that you can connect to your Eventbrite gig to help you get better promotion for your upcoming events and help you sell more tickets. Now, before I get into those five things, I want to ask you, please, if you find this video helpful, if you find our content helpful, please hit the like button and then subscribe to our channel and make sure that you smash the bell so that you can see the videos when they are posted, okay? now. Let's talk about Eventbrite really quick, and let's just talk about your gig promotion in general. Now, it's very, very easy to fall into the trap right now of just, hey, you know what? I've got an event coming up. I am going to create a Facebook event for it. Um, I might post in there a couple of times. I might share it um, onto you know, my socials or whatever, um, but that obviously is just one route to go. But I would recommend starting with Eventbrite because that is going to put you in front of people that may not already be your fans. That, you know, of the seven people on earth that aren't on Facebook, it might also <laughs> help reach them. But for people that are just searching for things to do, um, looking for events, looking for you, um, I will encourage you to start um, by creating your events on Eventbrite. Now, if you've got a lot of gigs coming up, if you are, for example, you know, maybe you're a cover band and you've got like, you know, five, six, seven, you know, gigs coming up and you're like, you know, I don't want to create Eventbrite for all of those or, you know, regardless of your cover band or not. But, you know, if you've got uh, gigs coming up, maybe you've got a house gig and you're an acoustic person, you've got the same gig at the same place every week, you might not create an Eventbrite gig for that. You know, you may look at your scope of what your events are and just choose what your special ones are or the ones that you need to make a big splash. Um, for example, there are several clubs that we play in our market where we would put more effort into promoting them because the room capacity was just bigger than uh, some of the ones that we'd play. You know, just for those of us that were in the Indianapolis market, you know, for example, we would uh, play this uh, restaurant um, a couple of times a month when we first started off, uh, but it was the Bella Vita. It was a really cool atmosphere, um, but 10 people uh, would literally fill the dance area. Notice I didn't say dance floor. It was just an area that they moved tables from uh, after dinner and we would play in this corner. We were eight folks stuck in a corner, but we didn't have to promote as hard for that show as we would for an example of one of the larger clubs um, in the market was, or still is actually, Britain Tavern. Um, you know, 10 people is going to look like a really, really, really bad night. So we would put more effort and promotion behind those types of gigs. All of that to say, you might also do the same for your Eventbrite gigs. You might use those as, I really need to sell some tickets. I really need to... Um, you know, get some butts on the dance floor, get some butts in the seats, so to speak. Um, so take a look at your upcoming gigs and do that. However, what I wanted to share with you is like after you start with your Eventbrite gig, um, there are some other apps and tools and sites uh, that you can use depending on what you're doing that could help tie in to your um, to your existing promotions. So if you're doing a lot of promotion on Spotify, for example, and you've got, um, you know, several hundred monthly listeners or thousands of monthly listeners and they're coming to your site um, to listen to your music and you've also got events coming up you know what better time to actually have someone like look into your profile and be like oh cool not only do i like this person's music but they've got a show coming up in my area you know this weekend or next weekend or whatever so um, being able to use eventbrite to tie into um, your Spotify account will be a great way to catch some of those new listeners um, and actually hit them at the point of their excitement when they're listening to your music, okay? So one was Spotify. Two is Instagram. Um, Instagram is um, the only, I should say, Eventbrite is the only event-based uh, platform that will sync up with Instagram right now. Um, there's a lot of like appointment scheduling and things like that that you can do to go through and um, actually sync up 
uh, different appointments and calendars and stuff like that. But when it comes to events, um, they will actually, you're actually able to tie in your Eventbrite link and it actually will sync up to your um, actual Instagram profile. And then once you link up your Eventbrite gig and put the link in there to your Eventbrite, um, at the very, uh, at the bottom of the profile, but the top of your feed, there will be a little link there that says get tickets. Um, if you go out to my Indie Band Coach um, Instagram, I actually did a post on that that actually walks you through the steps. Um, I'll put a link to it in the comments here, but um, number two is Instagram. Number three, very easy, is Facebook. Um, obviously, you know, if people are going to be searching on Facebook and if you've already got a presence on Facebook, um, another great opportunity to catch people when they are um, already looking for you and already, you know, in your world is to have your Eventbrite gig um, synced up to Facebook. And, you know, if it's a ticketed event, like it does cost money for a ticket, um, they can purchase them directly on Facebook, directly on Instagram, and they will actually be uh, credited in the Eventbrite account and things like that. So that's the other beauty of this is that you're syncing these up and it's not just for show, but they're actually um, able to sell these tickets on these sites. So that is an awesome, awesome way to uh, be able to get people where they're at. Number four is bands in town. Um, if you have been rocking with bands in town for a while and you've got um, a lot of followers, then, you know, bands in town already does a great job at getting people to um, getting people to your shows or getting people aware of your shows. And obviously there's a bands in town um, app that will sync up to your Facebook page. So depending on how much you already use bands in town, um, if you've got um, an Eventbrite gig, again, that might be a larger event that you need to get people at, don't be afraid to look into um, starting that event on Eventbrite and then syncing up your bands in town app. And the last one is YouTube. So um, one thing I do want to mention uh, with these is I'm mentioning these in case this is where you are already active. So if you don't already have videos on YouTube, if you're not already using YouTube, as example here for number five, this is not an encouragement to try and start a YouTube channel just so you can hook up your Eventbrite. Um, these are things that can help you do, can help enhance what you're already doing. So if you've already got some activity on YouTube, if you already post videos out there and you have events coming up, you know, think about how, um, how much more easy it would be if, you know, your people are watching your music video and right below that they can also see your shows coming up and click right there under your video uh, to get tickets to your event, okay? Okay, so those are the five that I wanted to mention. Uh, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, Bands in Town, and YouTube. Again, just look at the scope of what you're already doing, where your fans already are, and then see how you can add your events to that mix and add being able to get tickets um, as a very easy option when they're already engaging with uh, your band and your brand um, to help sell some tickets, okay? And once again, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and smash the bell so you can see when we post new content. Um, again, this is Leonard with Indie Band Coach. Go out there and work smarter so you can gig harder. Peace.